Hi there, this is Paul Thompson and uh, I've been doing one or two videos regarding the WISE online bank account and some of the features of it and in particular the fact that you can create a virtual debit card which you can use online for shopping etc and any purchases you want to make online and you can use the card in such a way that it becomes very very secure and it secures your uh, account and it makes sure that others can't get your banking information or even the card information. And I was asked a question by one of my subscribers. And the question is, as you can see down here, hi, how to create a virtual card. So this is just going to be a very quick video to show you exactly how to do that. It's incredibly simple and easy to do. But of course, you've got to, first of all, have a WISE account. You've also got to have been verified as a real person and uh, somebody who is uh, qualifies under their terms and conditions to have an account. So once your account has been approved and verified, then you can start to use the cards uh, and all of the, all of the services um, that WISE offers. It helps obviously to have some money in your account, but actually once you're more verified, it, you don't actually have to have any money in your account to create a virtual credit card, but of course you need money in your account to be able to spend the virtual debit card. And because that's the nature of debit cards, of course, you've got to have money in your account in order to be able to use it. So I'm very quickly going to show you how to create the card once your account has been verified. And all we do, of course, is we log in. There is very, very good two-step verification to enable you to log into your account. And if you heard the whistle in the background, that was the uh, a message sent to my phone asking me to approve the login. So it's very, very secure, just even just to get into the account. So once you're in the account, you can see, uh, you know, many of the um, activities that I've used the card for or used the account for at the least. And the way to create a card very simply is go into where it says cards on the left hand side here. And it is just this is basically just all you need to do. Go into where it says cards. And as you scroll down the page, you'll see get digital card. It's as simple as that. And you simply click that button and it will just instantly create a card for you. Your new card is ready to use. There we go. And you've got the various numbers and so on. So I'm going to actually freeze and delete this card because I'm not going to be using it, but it will also demonstrate how easy that is to do. So if I had made a purchase and I just wanted to freeze the card, but keep the details of the account or of the card in my account so that I can refer back to it, I can simply freeze the card and I can still go into the card to see all of the card details. Even though the card is frozen, it can't be used by anyone. Um, but you still have all the details to hand if you need them. You can actually unfreeze the card if you want to and continue using it, or you can delete it altogether. So there's a, an option there, of course, to delete it. And it just is really that simple to create a virtual online debit card. What you'll find is that I keep, this is just an example, I keep very little cash in this account. But what I do when I want to make a purchase online is that I fund this account, whichever currency I'm planning to use, whether it's English pounds or US dollars, Australian dollars, whatever it might be, euros, etc. I can simply fund the account to the, to the amount of money that I want to pay for with the card. And then once I've made my purchase, this balance goes down to a very low amount. And again, a double security element. So it's um, a stopgap or a, a fire break between your actual true bank account that you use on a daily, weekly basis that your salaries, etc., might get paid into, and a fire break between that and the purchase that you're making by using the WISE debit card as a middle as middle ground so that your true banking details, your everyday banking details are not actually used online all apart from funding this account. And it's really that simple. Like I say, you can defrost the card, you can delete the card, and you can create a new card. Let's see if we can do that. So it's not giving me the option to create a new card, so I'm gonna suggest that three cards is the maximum that you're able to have at any one time. But if I do delete this card, uh, we'll see what options we get then. So delete the card. And again, it gives me the option to get a digital card. So I'm gonna suggest that you are able to have three cards, no more than three cards at any one time. And if you want to create more cards, you'll have to delete one that already exists to create another one. And that's the end of that. That's really that simple. And I hope that answers the questions. Uh, do make any comments you like uh, down below and ask me any questions and I'll do my very best to answer those for you. Bye for now.